Look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this video, and this video is going to be about to the employers. And there is a chapter in AA about it, but this is this is through Matt Childs. Because in order to share to the employers, I will have to share my personal experience. Okay? This is what I'm going through right now. Okay, we all know that alcohol is my enemy. Alcohol is my enemy. Okay, now I don't care what anybody does with it. But alcohol is my enemy. I cannot go certain places because alcohol controls this whole entity that I am involved with. Okay, and the ones under it display the alcoholic behaviors and attitudes and everything. And, and this map represents light. This is all darkness that I'm part of, okay? And I have for almost nine years now, because my mama didn't give up on me. So I go do certain things for her, because if, if I don't do it, she'll have to do it, because there's something in the structure that won't allow these dark this darkness to get out of the way. And truthfully, at the top, that controls this whole entity that's part of my, my life. And so what I have done is, is branched out. Because if I don't, then I will fail. So I have branched out trying to survive. Trying to get by. You know, um, doing anything and everything. Because once you get to that point right there, the world just looks at you as a stupid dummy. You know, but then again, when you're working on nine years away from that structure, nine years without ever walking back into that, even though all these individuals in the rest of the world do every day, all day long worship it, and they tell me I'm dumb and all this other stuff. Healthy, sick. Light, darkness. Okay, so what I do is, is I go, when you work hard, what you're going to do is you're going to gravitate towards somebody who's willing to listen. They might be a little bit weary about what you're saying or doing, but something in them can actually see that, you know, there might be something to that. But excluding all everything that I'm into, they identify the hard work, okay? So, and dude, I get up real early. You know, I'm over here at this place at 5 a.m., and I'm gone anywhere from 8 to 8.30 every morning for the latter part of a decade. That's that's consistency. That's what huge corporations would be like. We're going we're going to surround it around that right there. But there's no the only corporation knowledge in here is at the top, and they are they're they're not in there. So everything in here is the only thing that's been there. That's the only thing that's been in there. Nothing's ever been challenged or anything. And in order to do this, you've got to challenge yourself. You've got to have major structure, major responsibility, major control. Okay. And so what I have done is I have gone a certain place, okay? Uh, I have earned, is that how you spell it? Yeah, I have earned my, uh, what would you say? I have earned the ability, you know. It should be there, but it's not. It never will be. That, this, that right there is that whole structure. Okay, and then where I have gone, what we have done is if we apply the business to this, the business went from basically that to that last year. The business did itself. Yeah, the business did. Okay, now, it's kind of hard to talk because I have to include you. Because see, in order to help people, you have to be involved. And I know who you you know what I'm talking about. My boy, you, you know exactly, because I have to talk about this experience, okay? Because where I'm at now, at this other entity, I'm just going to show you something, okay? The top has other... I mean, look, the, the guy's busy, okay? He's got his shit together. But he, at the top, has other 
He's got another career. So he's going to depend on what's under him to control this entity in which he's allowed me, in which we, I mean, dude, it is, it is badass. You got to listen. It is, it is badass. Okay. Well, at one point in time, you had an individual under this owner, okay, that ran this. And it was way, way, way out of whack. It was very unstructured, very everything. And he knows it. But it's just like anywhere. Anybody that owns something and does something else, you know, they want it to run the way they want it to. But if they're not there, if it's getting by, then hey. But with me, there's something different. Okay, well, this person left some time ago, okay? This person left some time ago. And what we're doing is, is we're trying to restructure, trying to get people in and help, people, you know, with knowledge. And this person has came back, okay? And in the beginning, the top, my boss, me and him was talking, and he was like, now, am I going to, who's, you know, somebody's got to be in charge. All right, here we go. Here we go. This individual that has came back, we all know that there's been a problem there. And this individual told you that there won't be no problem. Okay? This week has been a horrible week for me. I just spent $2,500 on taxes. I drove by a house and seen somebody do landscaping and all kinds of shit. And it's like, what the fuck is this? Oh, you know, we're going to be busy. And it's like, y'all all know I'm losing everything right now and I've gave it all. But that's cool. So I'm losing money, losing more money. Here comes this guy right here. Okay, now I don't know what was said between you two. Okay, but this is what I have gotten so far in the first week. This is why I'm taking this weekend off. Okay. The warehouse has, warehouses have never been in better shape. Ever, 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 ever. Okay, the first part of the week was this. Okay, listen, I'm going to be going out of town with him next week. Now, are you sure that you and Jonathan can handle this? You sure y'all can handle this? We had to back, listen, I can't handle this shit. That's just me. It's like, listen, I, I, I go on, get out of here, you know. And then I go by the following day, <coughs> Tuesday. And I will admit it, I lost, I didn't lose my temper. I was in this entity and I lay, I, something that God came out of me, the angry God that flipped the tables in the church, Jesus. And I let them know that I've been out here struggling my ass for nine years while I have watched y'all do nothing, basically. And it's the truth. And I have to be rigorously honest. And I love you. Intervention. <clears throat> and I said, if it wasn't for that, then you wouldn't be there. If it wasn't for that, they wouldn't be there. That would be, that guy would be there. There would never be there. But we're here. Thanks God to that. But here's the deal. Right when I get done blasting them, because I love them, I go to my other entity, and what the fuck do I see? I see the guy coming back with a 16-ounce Bud Light in his hand in your fucking office. Before 11, you know, and that's when it hit me. <clears throat> you know, that's when I just, I left and it's like, you know, and see, people tell anybody anything. And listen to me, if you, hopefully you watch this because there's no other way of telling you. And there's a bunch of more we got to talk about. But you don't get to call him. You've got to show humility not say shit until you come back and we all sit down because after an act of coming in and not even having a week and drinking on the job, even though even though we're not wide open, and, but he'll bring up what I do, but cannabis saved my life and plus cannabis does that. Alcohol does that. But with an act like that, this is what we do in recovery in the real world. You've lost all privileges for at least 12 months. You have no decision-making, nothing whatsoever if you want to keep this job. That's not the way to go, 
And the thing is, is nobody takes up for Matt and says, I've got, listen, that shit almost killed him. This fucking warehouse is badass, and then you're going to bring the enemy in here. Do you understand, what if I would have walked in with two people in recovery? Because I'm trying to get some people in over there to work. And I would get more over there, but y'all, two people have died in this place that I said they got to get some help, and you said, ain't nothing wrong with it. They're dead. They're dead. That's on y'all's blood, not mine. And I told you. So now what we have is this. Is, okay, what if I've got two people in recovery? They're fired up, man. Hell yeah. We're going in there to fill out an application. I've got them. Hey, man, come here. Get Oh, shit. Now both of them see him drinking beer. Now in their head, the environment is what? Maybe one of them's like, hell yeah, I can drink here, man. Or the other one's like, oh, God. You know, I can't. I, I might. Do you understand how far we can take this? And then not only that, I just let it go. And then the following day, you know, I come in and he, or, uh, he's calling me, telling me everything that we're going to do. You're going to do this. And Jonathan is the, he, the guy that rides with me is my fucking teammate. He cannot stay in check. He's mentally challenged, but he's with me. He has never been better in his life. And then this man's going to come in and say, yeah, man, Jonathan's got this. You're going to do this, this, this. Fuck you. No, I'm not doing shit. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> do you know what I mean? This is serious. People do not take me serious. You do. I know you do. You know, and don't get upset for sharing this because people have to see this. People in recovery see this every day. They work under people who drink and who abuse alcohol and don't go to jail or rehabs or anything. It doesn't hit them that hard. And they have that over them. So seeing a video like this gives them comfort saying, thank God that I'm not the only one dealing with this. And it's like, listen, nobody has believed in me in almost nine years within this structure. No, you haven't. And I love you. They all see me for that person right there. Well, this person has been around certain individuals, so that person in their sick head still sees me as that person. It's so disrespectful, even though they're fucking that person now. Do you, do you, listen, alcohol cannot help anything. It cannot help anything. And then remember, you're the one that said, well, somebody's got to be in charge, and I said, no, they don't. I said, hey, hey, nobody's in charge. And I said, but we have positions. We have certain principles and guidelines that we go by. Okay? But what has he done? He has done just the same thing that alcohol does. As it slowly consumes the anatomy, he has came in and made it his, his business to just consume the company. And, yeah, uh, and, and see, in his head, everything is still the same, even though it was a failure when he was there. It was a failure. You know, coming in and getting 40 hours this week. Now I'm over here getting 10. And don't say, well, you can, listen, I don't want to take your money when I don't deserve it. You know that we can do everything. We can knock it out. And you've had them shitheads for a long time that drag ass and everywhere else. And, you know, and, and, and it's okay. You know, but no, no, but not until truthfully, that entity truthfully steps up. You do. But this is not going to happen on my watch. I will not go. Isn't that ironic? How I blasted them and then went straight to there. And look, check this out, buddy. Check this out. You were at this birthday party. <laughs> you, this was a long time ago. Look, what does that cake say? What does it say? It says the chosen one. <laughs> and they're coming out with that, that series and that fake movie, The Chosen. That's ironic too, ain't it? And you were there with me, Tate, Levi, Fred, Chuck, Steve. That's when I was going through the power plant. See, that's what none of these people understand I have more experience than the people that go to the fake universities when it comes to doing anything as far as structuring anything. 
It's just you don't have the brains. The brains are stuck in Dumbville. Do you understand what I'm talking about? People don't understand. It's like, look, it's just like recovery. The reason people can get better is because they go to the same meeting every day. Well, wouldn't you want to have a team meeting every fucking day about what to do and what not to do? And eventually, you see how it's the same concept. You force it. You force it into the brain, into the anatomy, until everything becomes just secondhand. Just bam, there it is. The right way. In the right way, we can't get there when it's corrupt. You know, and do not fucking call him and raise hell. He's, listen, he's got to earn this year the same way I earned last year and the year before a little bit. Same way. He has to earn it. That should be, in, in it's any Jesuit corporation, that's what, you've got to work your way up to the top. And this man is good. He is a good person. Everybody is. The qualities within this person outweigh mine when it comes to certain things. But mine outweigh his. And see, you have to learn how, just like you're putting a salad together, you have to have the right ingredients, especially if it's a salad that's going to go into your anatomy and cure everything and make it solid. You have to have the right ingredients. And this ingredient right here is going to destroy it. And this, this illusion has to be squashed like that. It has to be squashed. There's nothing good that comes from that. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. You know, um, but I'm saying that. It's, it's, it's hard for people in recovery. It, sh it should be more vocal, but your government doesn't care. You know, so if you're running something, you can't allow people to see certain things because then you are the end result of them sliding back into a relapse. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, the structure, it has to come from the top and people have to be comfortable, you know, and I'm not dealing with that shit. I'm not going to be controlled in both fucking places by what almost killed me and what I can expose for what it is. I've, I've given too much. You know, but I want him to struggle this weekend. You know, I want both of them to struggle. And it's a it's a dynamite waiting to happen with both mouth with both of them together. With him already showing his true colors and then the other one dab fest. I put into all that shit and what's happening? Here it comes. It's coming back. Just from one entity. Do you see what I'm saying? One bad apple. And he's not. It's just what's in him. Like the alcoholic. It's the corruption being allowed in there. And it's the false sense of pride. Like, I'm running it all. And you're doing this, this, this. And it's like, oh, they just pouring down rain Friday. He's like, listen, we're going to get loaded up. Eight, it's not four, eight a.m. It's like, dude, we, there's one order going out. What are you freaking for? And that's not him talking. It's this. You know, that's giving him pride. Because I guess he, because, you know, when you look at somebody and you go, now listen, I'm going out of town with him next week. Now, are you sure y'all going to be okay? Do you know what to do? And it's, it's a mockery. Because that's, it's trying to get me to relapse. You see what I mean? I'm being overwhelmed by alcohol. And I'm still sitting here saying, fuck the world. You're not going to get me, Satan. But I'm also here to bring, uh, um, some kind of hope. There's nothing good that comes from out of that shit. You know, and if you're struggling with something like that, go to your employer and say, watch this video. And then come get me. We'll go talk to them together. But this is for my guy because I love him and he's busy. And some things you just can't sit down and speak eye to eye. You've got to do a video, send it to him and say, this is what's happening. Okay, I am not going to be told what to do by an alcoholic spirit. Uh -uh. He's lost all privileges for at least 12 months. He's going to be on probation for six months. That's, that's, I mean, that's how you build a Jesuit corporation. None of this fucking, oh, well, hopefully just don't do it again. Because then once again, any of y'all that own businesses that travel out of town, Guess what your employers do when you're gone, and you know it. Yeah, they all get fucked up and do dumb shit. I don't. And it's sad because some people, prob they're like, you know, he's peace. It's like, no, I ain't. Dude, I have, listen, I'll, and you've all, you've asked me, 
Hey, did you buy this on that credit card? And it's like, did you try to buy something on the credit on the business card? It's like, don't ever fucking ask me that again. I will kick you in the nuts. Uh uh-uh. Don't ever ask me that again. It's sad. That's what I'm saying. It's like you we we our principle our foundation is founded on principles of honesty, being rigorously honest. And it's like too honest. People are like, no, he doesn't mean all that. Do you see any other fucking videos blasting them because you love them? But then again, they'll hate you in the long run because it's not them who hates you. It's the alcohol spirit. You cannot think and create anything under the influence of anything that's foreign to the anatomy. You know, and it's just, uh, but I mean, it's something that you have to, to look at in any situation that you're in, you know, because depending on what it is, it can be detrimental. I mean, God, pills are sold all the time in, in, in any anywhere you go, employers. Man, let me get two of them pills. Man, let me get some pills. Man, let me get some pills. It's everywhere. You know, and I'm the kind of guy that's like, look, the top's going to know everything that goes on down here. That's why everybody down here hates Matt Childs. That's why everybody over here hates Matt Childs. It's like, because we're going to put up rules and regulations. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. We had rules and regulations today. You're stupid. (laughs) And it's like, listen, I'm going to be 47 this year, and I feel, this is no shit, I feel 16. Fuck, I'm jumping everywhere. Just It's like, what? And my shoulders are getting better from the saws. You know what I'm saying? My bones at 47 years old from the salts. <laughs> but all these people in here are like, you're crazy, you're crazy, except him. He's starting to see it. We drink water out of the ground from God. Dude, I have never, look, I had, from where I broke my nose when I was young, it's crooked a little. Something was blocking my sinuses, my nasal passage. This is crazy. It's not crazy because it's real. I got on those salts. And, dude, that shit messed with me for my whole life. And years ago, them salts, it just it went away. I was like, dude. And then I had calluses on my feet from doing all those cardio and exercises and shit for 33 months straight, ironically. And they hurt, too. Dude, those salts, they went away. Everything went away. Everything's going away that's bad. It's because it's what you're made of. And see, the same way that the the 12 cell salts build the house, the temple of God, is the same way that you would have, you know, different individuals within a corporation specifically trained to do certain things and not trying to be King Kong ding dong. Hey, we're we're doing this, doing this, doing this. And, And the thing is, is he's already brought that shitty attitude back with him. And he never left it. When he left, it stayed with him. And when he came back, he still, it's there. Now, I love him to death. I love everybody. I love him. But he, this is not going to work, brother. This will not work. And do not call him and do not say shit to him at all. At all. Or I will not be back over there. All right? And I will talk to you later on. And I love you. 